What is up YouTube, it's your boy Risk, and we're back once again with another video, and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys another shooting badge method or tutorial, and yes I did upload a video, you know, related to this a few days ago, but that was for non-shooting builds, this will apply to, you know, mainly my shooting builds, but also the non-shooting builds is going to contain elements from that non-shooting build video, so if you see some methods repeated, don't worry, there are some new ones. So, you know, I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right into this video. Make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, set to all notifications. It's your boy Risk, and let's get right into the video. She know I keep the bag on me. How about God, how about racks on me? I'm going to hit it, then I dip. No, I do not trust a bitch, because they all be the same to me. All these thoughts always running through my head. I'ma get the bag, double back for the bread. I'd rather smoke a blind kicking back in my bed. And yeah, she in my line, cause she know I'm getting bread. So for any of you guys who are newcomers to my channel, I am Risk. Right? I upload tons of 2K content, you know, related to, you know, tutorials, methods, glitches. And then, you know, I upload build videos, jump shot videos, and all that, you know, stuff. So um, for any of you guys that are new, I, you know, deeply encourage you guys to, you know, hit that subscribe button. And you guys already know, for my loyal subscribers, you always got to do three things before you finish watching one of my videos. Number one, hit that like button. Number two, hit that subscribe button. And number three, hit that notification button, set it to all notifications. So you can be notified to all my future videos, giveaways, and etc. So, you know, with that being said, we're going to start this video, alright? And I'm showing you guys really quickly, you know, how to get the shooting badges, you know. Like, pretty much, you know, how or what methods you'll need to be doing. What I mean by that is, you see here, under the shooting category, we have mid-range shot, three-point shot, free throw, and post-fade. So that means... To do, you know, a shooting badge method, we will have to do one of those four things. Hit free throws, hit a post fade, hit a mid-range, or hit a three-pointer. So, I'm just, you know, kind of, you know, pointing out for anybody who's kind of confused on how to get shooting badges. Pretty much, you want to do one of those four things, and you'll get points. And, you know, there's different points for each category. Like, you'll get more points for a three-point shot than a two-point shot, post fade, and free throw, and stuff like that. So in terms of the actual method, we're going to get right into it right now. But I just want to let you guys know, remember My Player Nation. You're going to want to play that My Player Nation game because you do get double rep and double, um, you know, my points or whatever you want to call it. And this is every 24 hours. So obviously the method, you know, is in my career. But if you could play this once a day, you know, that's going to help you out, you know, with getting these badges a little bit easier. And I'm pretty sure there still is a glitch in the game that allows you to get unlimited My Player Nation games. So if you want, you could go on YouTube, find the My Player Nation glitch, and you know, pair that together with this badge method, and then you'll be able to get unlimited My Player Nation games. Which means, you know, according to my, you know, quick, you know, math estimates, you'd be able to probably get the maximum 30 shooting badges in about five to six hours doing this method and the My Player Nation glitch at the same time. So if I was you guys, I would recommend checking that out. So we're going to jump right into the game here, and as you see, we're going to get this method kicked off. So per, first of all, you're going to want to, you know, start by not playing defense, alright? You just want to let them score, and it's going to pretty much just speed up the process of everything just in general. And this first method really is for my guards, but this could honestly work on any build. I've done this method on my stretch big, even though it is a little bit more tedious and difficult, it is very possible. Pretty much what you want to do is you're going to want to come to this, you know, top right hash, Call quick isolation and call for a screen, and then bam, you're just gonna run to you know the center of the court. You know, gonna dribble sprint over there, and you should be wide open. All right, and I could literally do this all game. You're gonna be wide open, so it's just on you to make sure you hit that shot. But you have to remember to call that quick isolation. If you do not call that quick isolation, it will mess everything up because people from the other side will just pick up on you, and you will not be open. Now, obviously, as you guys probably know, my career is really, you know, different this year. And the AIs get accustomed to what you're doing. So at some point, the AIs are going to change the way they play defense. So you're going to see here, I'm going to come up and do the same exact method. But you're going to notice how the center is going to actually pick up. So all that means is you're going to have to dribble all the way to the opposite side of the court. Just dribble a little bit more. And you'll be able to pull that shot even though I hit a white. You'll be able to pull it without the, you know, the center actually contesting you. So you just honestly, you know, you can't be afraid to shoot that shot. And right there was Carl Anthony Towns. Typically, you won't be facing that good of centers. But yeah, so you just have to be aware of that, you know, of the center picking up. So don't always, you know, just predetermine what's going to happen and just shoot from the top of the key. Always wait to make sure the center is not going to pick up before you shoot. And this is the only difficulty I face when I try this method on my stretch. When you are on a center or a taller player trying to do this, it is not a main ball handler. Once they start picking up, the method does not it does not work anymore because you are not fast enough to you know shoot the ball and dribble to the spot you know while that center is chasing you, unlike a guard can. So that's just something to keep you know in the back of your mind. 
so like i said this method mainly for my guards but do not be afraid to try it if you are a taller player such as a stretch big or just like a six eight sharp or something around there so even though i just showed you guys two different scenarios that you know i consider that one method so we're gonna get into the second method and obviously like i said do not play defense and this method is going to be more for my centers, but just like the other method, it could go vice versa for all builds. As I'm doing this on a guard right now, I'm going to you know, show this for you guys. But I do this mainly on my center, and that is post-fading. Alright, but the post fade is very overpowered, you know, in terms of my career, as you see, I'm getting double teamed, and I'm still able to hit that post fade shot, it's almost like they can't contest you, really. The only thing you have to worry about while doing this method is that you're not doing the post shot in the paint, alright, because if you do it, you know, in the paint or while you're touching the paint, it's going to count as a close shot, and if you remember at the start of the video, close shot is under finishing category, which means... You will get a finishing badge point for it, you know, rather than a shooting badge point. Even though it's still a post fade, it will consider it a close shot since you are closer, you know, towards the basket. So just watch out for that. Make sure all the post fades you do are a little bit towards the outside of the paint. And it should be bread and butter. Um, honestly, with any build, a center build, you know, anything. Because any build that even is not a, you know, main shooting build, you're going to have somewhat of a decent post fade. Um, because you obviously have to upgrade that a little bit to get shooting badges so this method should work for almost everybody and it's a good alternative if none of these other methods work for you now this next method is going to be a little bit of a quicker method and it's going to be only for guards unfortunately no you know center will be able to really do this and as you see all you're going to pretty much do is call for a screen at the top of the you know the top of the three point line wherever you want to go all right you're going to call for the screen what's gonna, most likely going to happen is they're going to try to double team you right so they're going to play sides on you so wherever you go they're just going to pick up very easily so what you want to do is as you know the center is setting the screen in between the two defenders you're going to do that you know a little behind the back escape i want to say what it's called it's pretty much a behind the back and i think it's yeah i'm pretty sure it's called the behind the back escape and all you gotta do is search through your controls um settings and you'll probably figure out how to do it it's pretty simple i just don't know how to really explain how to do it so you're gonna really do that drill move right there and you see it creates so much space i do that move and i just do a hop step back and i am wide open without contest all right and i'm doing this you know while i have takeover because the other methods were not working because i was getting double teams so this is you know another alternative you know just in case you start getting double teamed and stuff like that it's a very simple and effective method now this other method is going to be mainly for my centers but really any build could do this and what it's going to be is pretty much going to the corner calling for a quick isolation and then calling for a screen from the center all right and the point of this is really, I mean, here's kind of difficult to show because I didn't have much time on the shot clock. I didn't, I, I didn't really call for a screen, but you're going to want to call for a screen. And I, I shot that, you know, to kind of show something to you guys, because a lot of the times when you call for the screen, the player will not drop down. Sometimes they do drop down, leaving you wide open. So obviously, if you call for that screen, you're wide open in the corner, you're going to pull that. But if you're not wide open, I still say shoot. As you saw, I shot that and it was 28% contested and I greened it. All right, so what I recommend is if you are a center and you're going to heavily rely on, you know, doing this method out the corner, calling for a screen out the corner, put on Steady Shooter Hall of Fame. Because if you put that on, if you get contested, it won't even matter because you'll have that badge on. So that's, you know, a little bit tip, a little bit, you know, small tip I'll give you guys if you're going to try this method only. And now heading to the last method, it's honestly pretty simple here. All you're going to do is pretty much when you're on a fast break. Alright, you're going to want to use that opportunity, take advantage of it, and pretty much just run up the court and do a snatch back once you reach that three-point line. A lot of the times, the player who is guarding you in transition is most likely going to be a center, or even if it's a guard. They will, you know, when they're in that fast break defense, they won't step up once you do that snatch back, and you'll be wide open. And, you know, sometimes you're able to get a snatch back animation that's fast enough for this to work on centers, but I cannot confirm that it will work on, you know, a stretch five that's, you know, seven feet tall. But, you know, for my guards, obviously, it's going to work very effectively in fast break scenarios. So, I would recommend doing that kind of speed up the process of your shooting badges. But that's not going to be one of the ideal methods. I just kind of wanted to point that out for you guys, you know, as an additional, you know, way to score quickly and, you know, make more use of your time. So, in terms of the my career methods, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So, if you guys, you know, kind of, you know, could play around with those and tell me, you know, how they work out for you. If you've run into any other methods, let me know down below in the comments. But besides that all you really got at, like left is pretty much playing just part prom and all that for fun and you're just gaining badges in the process or just coming to the facility after all those games and doing your you know three four drills which they get you progress but not that much but it can be useful at times so all you really got you know besides that would be the training facility which you know you do get a decent amount of um rep or badge progress but it's not a crazy amount but it could be worth it in the long run so if you are curious in that, obviously free throw golf is going to be the drill you want to do, which is what I'm doing right now. Pretty simple drill, just make some free throws and you get 750 points. 
And if you know if you're not the best free throw shooter, you could do pick and pop or also a very simple drill. Um, all you do is pretty much set a screen. It's gonna make you pop. You're gonna catch the ball. And you're just gonna drive to the basket and take a lip. And it's gonna count as a shooting badge. You know, progress. Now, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you have any other questions, make sure you comment them down below. But besides that, it's your boy Risk. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And I'm out of here. Funny how now she be calling me back. She see that I got it, I'm stuck in the trap. 40 autos, and we put it right back. 40 autos, and he left in the back. I can't be trusting cause people just act. I get the money, I run it right back. The plug on my phone, I get to these racks. The plug on my phone, I'm gonna get back. I can't be trusting cause people be switching and